Well, everyone, I just got back from the thrift store and I want to show you what I got. Crossing my fingers that this is going to work. But it was $4 and it was a sofa cover. And it was quilted. It looks so pretty. Now, if this doesn't fit my sofa, I will find another use for it. But it was only $4. If it does fit my sofa really nice, I will show you that at the end of this video. And if it doesn't, I'll figure something else to do with it. Oh, I absolutely love it. My colors that I love. Now, I didn't get as many items, so what I'm doing is I'm not getting as many items, but I'm getting more purposeful items, things that I will use. First thing I do wanna show you is I got these free. They had them out for free, they're plastic but I thought they were just so pretty. And they're plastic bowls, and I like them. They're really neat, and I don't have any plastic bowls like this. Now, I probably won't use this for food, but I can use this to gather herbs and things in the garden. I probably won't put hot foods in them because they are probably from the 80s. But I just thought they were really pretty. I could put salad and things like that in them. Then I paid $3.50 for this. I paid $4 for this. Then I paid $3.50 for this. I really love calligraphy. And, okay, I was hoping it would have, this is actually the whole pen set. So it is the paper and the pens and all of the ink. So I'm really happy about that. And this is somewhat vintage looking, so the ink maybe won't work, but I do have other calligraphy pens. I thought it was just so pretty. And then I just got something else, and I'm really happy with these. I got some vintage books, and I'm actually going to start reading them today. Roberta of Roseberry Gardens. These were $2 each. And this is all about a garden and Roberta. <laughs> I know, self-explanatory, right? But I don't know when the date of these are. But I just love the look of old books. And I like reading old books, too. 1916. So this is from 1916. Then this one here was Nancy Starr. Biography. And then this one's dated. Here she is, age 16. It's a novel. And this was from 1904. Take a look at that beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? $2. Now I know a lot of you like to look on eBay and stuff. Let me know how much this book is. And then I got something else. Now these were with the vintage items. Pennsylvania Dutch. I paid $4.50 for these. But they're cookie cutters. In the Dutch girl and the Dutch boy. So there you go, everyone. That was my Thrifty Thursday. Now I did spend a nice little amount of money, but it's for items that I know I'm gonna really use. I spent $17. I'm going to go ahead and work on this right now and let's see if it fits my sofa. And I'm going to read my books today. I'm going to start reading these books and I'll let you know what I think of them. Nancy Stair, Nancy Star, Nancy Stair, and Roberta of Roseberry Gardens. Uh, you know what? I'll give you the link below and, and I'll let you know what they're worth on different places. I think it's going to be interesting. I'm sure I got a bargain at $2 each. Well, it fits perfect. I could not be any happier. So this was $4 well spent. It fits perfect, our love seat. And it's really, really, really nice. Very, very comfy looking. And I cannot believe that it fits perfect. That just really turned this old sofa into so much better.
Hi everybody, I'm Homestead Tessie. Today I have a product review. This is by the makers of Evor, and this is a vacuum sealer. We're gonna take it out of the box, then we're gonna go into the kitchen and I'm gonna do some sealing with it. First off, I wanna show you that it does come with two of the round sealing bags. Now these are not pre-cut bags. And then let's open up the sealer. So it also comes with the hosing unit and this would be for if you want to vacuum seal in mason jars. One thing I like about this unit is it does come with an extra rubber gasket, which is really nice. And this is the unit. So it's a very beautiful, modern looking unit. On the bottom of it, it has the electrical cord so you can keep that nice and contained. And here's all the different sealing options, which we're gonna go into the kitchen and we're gonna use it. So we have the different pressure, gentle or normal, dry food, pulse, marinade, manual seal, has a lot of different gadgets to it. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put the plastic bags in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see how well it seals. On a roller and you have to cut it yourself, which the machine has its own cutter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and seal this end of it, and that way we can seal the food. So basically what we're gonna do is, we're going to put the plastic in here like this, the bag, and then we're gonna go manual seal. So it's gonna manual seal this. Now we're not using the vacuum part for this. All right, it shuts itself off when it's done. And there you go, it is sealed. Gonna go ahead and we're going to seal some more things.